I'm pretty sure most of us were shocked to wake up and see that Squad Busters, the new Supercell game, a game that has only been in beta for a few days, is already going global. Especially since Clash Mini was in beta for almost two years and just recently got killed for some reason. But anyways, I have been playing some Squad Busters the last few days and I've loved it. It's actually really fun, but I do think they need to add and change some things before it goes global. So in this video, we are going to discuss five updates Supercell should add to Squad Busters before it launches for everyone on May 29th. Dang, that's soon. Oh, and hey, real quick, right before we start this, if you're hyped for Squad Busters, make sure to click the subscribe button because I will be making a lot of Squad Busters content in the future and of course continue to make Clash content. But anyways, the first update idea is clans. All five Supercell games have clans or a similar feature. Clash of Clans and Clash Royale have clans, Brawl Stars has clubs, and Heyday and Boom Beach also have some sort of clan feature. So I think it's a no-brainer that Supercell adds clans to Squad Busters. I'm sure they are planning on adding this eventually before or after global release because clans are really important in supercell games and they make the game so much better like imagine playing clash of clans without being able to do clan wars or talk to your clan mates that would suck social features really are one of the things that make supercell games so good Oh, and hey, quick disclaimer, please don't blame me for not explaining things perfectly because I am just getting used to the game. So yeah, Supercell, please add clans to Squad Busters. It will just make the game so much better. I'm pretty sure you're already planning on it. Number two, cosmetics. Every Supercell game has some sort of cosmetic, even Boom Beach now. Clash of Clans has hero skins, Clash Royale has tower skins and emotes, and Brawl Stars has a massive selection of skins. So what cosmetics could they add to Squad Busters? Well, the obvious first thing most people would think of is skins, which I would say they will probably add eventually. But maybe not, because in Squad Busters, you know that you evolve your characters from baby to classic to super to ultra, and each evolution changes the design of the character. So skins actually could be a problem, because it would be hard for players to tell what level characters are in-game. Game. Like imagine seeing a barbarian with let's say a party skin and you see what I mean right it would be hard to tell what level the barbarian is is he a classic baby super or ultra but who knows maybe that wouldn't be that big of a problem. But anyways, I'm sure that they will add some sort of cosmetic to Squad Busters because a big part of where Supercell makes money is from skins and stuff. So yeah, I'm almost positive cosmetics will be added to Squad Busters. Oh, and by the way, they do have emotes and those are cosmetics. I was just talking about any cosmetics besides those. Number three, more characters. Making more characters should be pretty easy for Supercell and Squad Busters because the game's characters are pretty much all from other Supercell games. So whenever they decide to add more characters or squaddies, whatever they they're called, <laughs> they can just choose from one of their five games. With that being said, here are three characters I think would be awesome in Squad Busters. The first character is Leon from Brawl Stars. Leon has always been my favorite brawler and I think he would look so cool as a Squad Busters character. The second character is Mario from Super Mario Bros. Just kidding, it's the firecracker from Clash Royale. She would be a really good character for Squad Busters because she deals splash damage and there's only like one character in Squad Busters who deals splash damage which is Dynamite. The third character is Spike from Brawl Stars. Spike is basically the most iconic brawler in Brawl Stars, so I think it's a no-brainer that they add him. His cactus throwing would be really cool. With that being said, they are definitely 100% going to add more characters to Squad Busters. Those were just a few I thought would be really cool. Number four, more game modes. There's currently only one game mode in Squad Busters. So far, it doesn't feel repetitive, but I actually haven't played that much of the game yet. I've seen comments on YouTube of people complaining that there's only one game mode, and they're saying that it's going to get old fast. Personally, I don't agree because there are tons and tons of different modifiers that make each match a lot different. And if I had to guess, I would definitely guess that more game modes will be added in the future. So my idea for a new game mode is a classic battle royale game mode, kind of like Showdown in Brawl Stars. So instead of collecting gems to win, in this battle royale game mode, the whole point would be to eliminate other players and the last player left would win. It's a really simple idea, it's basically just a normal game mode, but just without the main point, which is collecting gems. Number five, let's pay the win. Although it doesn't feel like a major problem, let's face it, the game is a little bit pay the win. The thing that makes the game most pay the win is keys. Before you jump into a match, you can spend your gold on three different types of keys that are used to make chests give you specific things and get them for free in matches. There are normal keys, which just gives you a free chest in game that you don't have to use your coins to get. Next, there are epic keys, which gives you a free chest that contains an epic character. And there are fusion keys, which gives you a free chest containing a fusion 
Fusion character. So you can probably see that this is pretty pay the win because from my experience, gold is pretty hard to get in squad busters. And if players who spend real money to get gold can automatically get the best characters, it's really not fair to most players. Okay, so the game is really good. I love it. I think it's definitely good enough to go global, but the keys are the biggest problem. So Supercell, if you're watching this, consider doing something about this before global release and let me know down below in the comments what you think of my ideas that applies to you watching this and you supercell if you're possibly watching this oh and if you made it this far i assume you've played or have played clash of clans if so click this video where we discuss if clash of clans is becoming too easy um okay bye um maybe like the video i guess